Hey there, folks. Tip here, Stupid Gardener. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Well, we got a little bit more snow here in North Carolina. Our third weekend in a row that we've gotten some snow. We just got a little dusting. But I tell you what, it's real cold out today. It's about 31, 32 degrees. It's not even going to get up into the 40s, which is real cold here for the area uh, where we live here in North Carolina in Zone 7B. So I thought today that I would just give you an update on our wooden um, compost bins that we have here. Um, these bins here, I work year round, and this is what feeds our garden all through the year. Um, you'll remember back in December, I think it was like the 1st of December, um, that we went over to my son's house, uh, Tip Jr., and I came back with like 30-something bags of leaves. All those leaves and a little bit of grass clippings went right here into these bins here. And I just want to show you what the progress has been. Um, here it is the end of uh, January, almost into February. And I just want to show you how these leaves have broken down in just a month and a half just by adding in some greens as well as our kitchen scraps and what a great job it's doing. Um, these bins here should be feeding our garden come springtime because they're really breaking down. Those leaves are really breaking down. So I just want to give you an update on that and what I throw in here. So I'll bring you over and just show you uh, what these bins here uh, look like. Okay, now these are our four bins. And as I said, we work these year round here. And um, these are the newest bins right here. And the way I do it, I fill up here and I just keep turning until I get into the last bin. And this last bin here is the one that I'm working off now, just uh, screening. And I'll be screening this bin also. And um, all that will go into our new addition to our raised uh, garden bed. And um, this bin right here, this bin as well as the bin on this side here is the ones where I put those 30 something bags of uh, leaves that I got from my uh, son's house, Tip Jr. And I tell you what, look at this, how this has just broken down. And we have got some great soil that will come from that. You can barely see the leaves in there. And this is uh, just from adding greens and turning this. And I keep this covered with a sheet of black plastic, which gets the heat up. And um, I tell you, it's done a great job breaking down. And this has only been a month or so. And if you just keep digging on down here, I mean, you got to go way down there to even see any leaves. And look how that's breaking down. I think that's just great. So this is what's going to be feeding our garden come springtime. Okay, so uh, I got these containers here, and I take these containers to work, and I fill them up with coffee grounds, um, you know, fruit that I bring to work, bananas, and different things like that. And uh, this week here, it was kind of wet out here, so I usually um, I just keep it in the freezer at work, and I just take them, uh, you know, home at the end of the week, and uh, just take them in here and just dump them on the old uh, compost pile. So they're kind of clumped up here, but um, as that heat gets to them, these, these will break up. And this is just full of coffee grounds, some paper in there, and uh, there's banana uh, peelings in there and everything. So this is great to put into your uh, compost. So, so I'm going to empty all those in there. And then also I have um, probably uh, six or seven bags of leaves that have been sitting uh, in the um, other side of the yard uh, that are just full of leaves and some greens, but mostly leaves. And uh, these have already started to, you know, break down in these bags. And they got a nice leaf mold to it. So after I put all these kitchen scraps in there that I brought home from work, I'll layer it up with some more um, leaves here. And this will continue the breakdown process. And uh, after I get these two bins to my left cleared out, all this will be turned over into those two bins. And then I'll be starting up some more bins here. Um, once this snow goes away, uh, believe it or not, my lawn needs to be mowed. So I'll get out there and I'll get the lawn mowed and get some nice greens to go on top of these and mix that in with the leaves. Uh, my son still has his front lawn that we got to get out and get mowed and get the leaves off the front lawn. So I'll probably have another 15 bags or so that can go in here. So the important thing to do is to always be composting, even in the winter time. And you can still compost in the winter time. It'll still break down. It won't be as fast as it 
will do it in the summertime when you got the heat and a bunch of greens, but you can still be throwing your kitchen scraps in, into your compost as well as putting leaves in there and any greens that you find front, um, around your yard you need to uh, put in there because you get a nice mixture going. And I tell you what, by the springtime we'll have to do another video and we will see what uh, these compost bins look like. It'll all be broken down into, into some great compost for our uh, garden for our growing season that's coming up um, in just two or three more months. So remember, always be composting. Don't throw away your kitchen scraps, your coffee grounds, your banana peels and the, your fruit. Always put it into your uh, compost bin and use that and use what's around you to feed your garden. So it's cold out here. I gotta get some more coffee in me. I gotta get this finished up. So I guess I will uh, sign off from here don't forget that we are on Instagram as well as Facebook. And if you are not a subscriber, stop what you're doing, hit that subscribe button, and just follow along with us. And um, I will see you on the next one. Hopefully it'll be um, a little bit warmer. But everyone take care. Thanks for watching. This is Tip from the Stupid Gardener signing off. God bless everybody. Hit that subscribe button.